Investing at all time high means different things for different people. Young people might feel very happy and they might just, you know, see the appreciation, take the money out and go about spending it. It's a completely different story for somebody in retirement or about to retire. Hello and welcome to Investors Hangout. This weekly interaction to help you learn and understand savings and investment issues is brought to you by Aditya Birla Sun Life Mutual Fund and Value Research. Now the markets have soared and such times are typically difficult for investors because they are faced with the difficulty of separating the good from the bad. Also, it becomes difficult for them to decide as to what they should do. At such a time, should they invest more, rebalance, asset allocation or they should just, you know, book profit. So in today's episode, we'll give you the equity plan for investors in different phases of their lives. For youngsters, new parents, for those who are about to retire and for retirees. I'm sure you don't want to miss this. Stay tuned. Ideally, everyone should invest in equity by way of SIP, spreading your investments over time, investing regularly. But many a times you end up with some lump sum and you are tempted to invest and it's very difficult not to invest because the market is going up every day. We are in a state of excitement when the market is at an all-time high. And that makes it all the more important that you should not invest lump sum. And uh, which means that you should spread your investment uh, over time. And uh, that is the only way you will be reducing the risk of, you know, catching a market high. Catching a market high is a devastating because uh, the act of investment in equity is a very optimistic uh, step. You are uh, thinking of, you know, ma maximizing your return, feeling happy about it. And it actually becomes real. The moment you invest, every day the market is going up. And, the mo and soon thereafter, the likelihood of market correcting soon after you have invested is very high. And also bringing a process or bringing a method to your investment or the way you invest is very important to develop a belief in it. So spread your investment your time over time. Always do SIP, don't invest at one go, don't invest lump sum. Now how should you spread your investment? Assuming you have 5 lakh rupees, what you should do now? I would say it entirely depends on what is it in relation to your, uh, your income levels, how important that money is. Assuming this 5 lakh rupee is result of some, you know, uh, is proceeds from a small flat that you had, uh, then I think it is a very critical, and if it's a critical money, then I think you should spread it over next one year, one and a half year, two year. If this happens to be your sales incentive, if you got a bonus, and uh, it has taken you two, three months. Then maybe, you know, this is some, this is the money which you should spread over the next six months to one year. Simply because, you know, this is uh, in your scheme of things, how important it is. My general rule is that uh, spread your investments in half as much time as it has taken to earn you. But the maximum time frame of spreading your investment should not exceed three years. Young or old, every investor should start conservatively and more so if you are starting out. So start with a conservative vehicle, even if you are investing for many, many years, two rules to follow always is your first investment should start with an aggressive hybrid fund, even if you are investing for many, many years. And don't invest lump sum. This should be a non-negotiable rule to be followed by any investor starting out. To be on a path of you know uh, confident investing for a lifetime though most young investor will be tempted to invest in a small cap or mid cap and uh, it might look you know very attractive or you are missing an opportunity or it's a missed opportunity because the vehicle which i am referring to it may not be you know going ballistic but it's very important to in your initial years to develop a belief in the market mechanic market investing mechanism If you are approaching a goal and you have accumulated some uh, savings and it has appreciated and right now the appreciation looks even more handsome, uh, what you should be doing is one to three years before you need the money, you should start preparing for it. Reason is that you can't wait for the last moment. So whatever be your age, before you need the money, start preparing for it at least one to three years before.
In fact, it is not the equity strategy that you have to plan for as you approach retirement. You have to really work on your asset allocation strategy because uh, you can be in all equity while you are earning. You can well be in 100% into equity if you, if you are in earning years because you get your salary and you get your income every month and then uh, you are able to save from that and keep investing. Only when you depend on you know, your income stops from, uh, from work, that is when you depend on investments and that is, that is when you should turn little conservative. How conservative it entirely depends on the scale of your retirement uh, accumulation. So whether you be 20% into fixed income or 35% into fixed income or half into e uh, fixed income, it entirely depends on the scale of your investment. And uh, most people think that as you retire, you should be out of equity. That is not true. In fact, it is very important that you should have meaningful exposure to equity to ensure that you are able to protect the worth of your value of your capital. So, uh, depending on the scale of investment, depending on, depending on your income requirement, decide on this factor. How much of your money should be into fixed income? And two, three years before that, start moving that money into fixed income so that your overall portfolio, all your investments, they become relatively more stable as compared to an all equity portfolio. It is very important to have some allocation, some meaningful allocation to equity so that at least your capital is able to protect its value. It is able to appreciate at least in line with inflation and that you need to plan very carefully. Based on your planning, you have to decide that whether you should have 10%, 20% or 30%, 40% into, into equity. Because if you keep consuming all the return or all the interest generated from your fixed income investment, your capital will remain constant. And if it remains constant, uh, then five years down the line, it will not be able to support your income requirement. Decide on that allocation, what percentage of your total money should be into equity and uh, spread that investment at least over a period of three years. It is extremely uh, important to eliminate the possible of, possibility of catching a market high more so in your retirement because if you invest 30 lakh rupee at one go, and tomorrow the market crashes by 10-15%, which is very routine, which is very normal, which is usual, then you will not be able to bear the shock of losing 15% of 30 lakh uh, in this phase of your life. That's all we have for you in this episode. Keep watching the space for more information. If you like the show, do subscribe to our YouTube channel. Take care. Bye for now.